I'm Jem and welcome to my nonsense video. For today's video, we are going to talk about IELTS. Now, for those of you who don't know, IELTS is an international English language testing system. It is an international standardized test of English language proficiency for non-native English language speakers. So, I took this exam. Hello, my dudes. I am so sorry if I look like a mess. Today, is February 11 and I'm going to take my IELTS exam so my IELTS speaking exam to be exact so I'm nervous but let's do this today is February 14 2019 and I just got home from taking my IELTS exam I took my reading writing and listening exam today and I hope I did well so. and a few days ago I got my result my result was sent to me by IDP Philippines and this is my IELTS test report form and I got an overall band of seven which is I think good at the back of this test report form, there's the explanation of what the bands are. So since I got a band 7, I am apparently a good user. Passing score is a band of 5, which is a modest user. So yes, if you want to study or work on English-based countries, you have to take this exam. Since I wanted to study abroad, I did. Now there are two kinds of IELTS. One is general training if you are planning to work and one is academic which is the one I took if you want to study. Now there are four parts in this test. Now speaking is done on a separate day or it can be on the same day but on a different time. Unlike with the listening, reading, and writing, it is all done in three hours or almost three hours anyway now there is also different scores on diff on those different tests and it will be added and that will be your overall band which is mine is seven so my individual scores on each of these is i got listening on 8.5 reading 7.5 writing is six i really suck at writing english and speaking is 6.5 now usually people study I actually cramped my studying. I watched Teacher Emma on YouTube for my IELTS and then I also bought a book. I'm gonna show you that book just for a second. Okay, I'm back. IELTS is more of a practical test so I suggest and recommend this book because they really give out good examples of what the exam will be and they have good sample test modules here. I started studying on December but then I procrastinated and stopped studying. I also got injured for two weeks and I didn't study a single thing during that time. A week before my speaking exam and my reading, writing and listening exam. That's when I started to study because procrastination. Yeah. But it helped. I mean, I passed. So, so during the speaking exam, I kind of got really nervous. The examiner started asking me questions about the things that I don't really have any idea on. Like, what are the difference between every single city in the Philippines? Like, how will I know that stuff? So I just started rambling on, which is not really a good idea. What you should do that I didn't do <laughs> is follow yourself up with all the different news, current events, or things that are random because they will seriously ask you about random stuff. Also, you should practice speaking about yourself because they will ask you about things about yourself. On to the listening part. Now I suggest 
that you clean your ears before your IELTS exam. Although there is headphones for it, but sometimes they talk so fast and sometimes the accent is just too thick that you are having a hard time understanding it. So clean your ears and try to focus because you will answer questions about the things that you listen to. And try not to doze off because just dozing off for a little bit will cost you an answer. So focus, focus on listening and on reading. If you are a huge reader, like me it is definitely an advantage although if you don't really read that much novels it's okay just try to skim it skimming is the answer to this you have 45 minutes to one hour to read long paragraphs and i mean long so what i did was read the questions first and then try to find the answers skimming through the paragraphs and i got a 7.5 so it worked for me, but yeah. And now on to writing. I really have no advice for you because as I said, doing essays is really not my thing because I tend to go off topic. So avoid going off topic. I just try to focus on the topic that you are given and try to maximize words as much as possible because on this, there are two essays on the writing part. You have to do an essay, for about 150 words and a second essay is about 250 words and then don't count because that will take your time just continue writing and then when you're finished if you have the time then go on counting because it will really take up your time you have to write an essay you have to write two essays for just an hour also don't drink water before the exam and go to the comfort room before the exam because once the exam starts it will just go on flowing directly there will be no pauses or anything there will be no short breaks where you can go to the toilet so you have to do everything before the exam and even though you can bring water inside but don't don't bring water because that will just make you want to pee I guess that's it for this video if you do like this video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more nonsense content for me. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!